Hi guys, my name's Mitz and I'm logged into my HostGator account here and what I want to do is I want to upload a PDF or say your ebook or whatever onto the server. So HostGator is my server and I'm going to go down to this section where it says files and click on file manager. Okay, so now it's going to let me um, choose which um, domain I want to go to. Now if you've only got one then it won't give you a choice, it'll just take you straight in. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to choose a domain to go into. Now also I've ticked show hidden files just in case I want to see, you know, something. Um, and now I'm just going to choose a domain name that I'm going to go into just for this example. Okay, and I'm going to press go. Okay, so now it's going to open up the file manager. I'm just going to close this for a minute, it's a bit distracting. Now these are the um, folders. Now this has got um, WordPress installed on it. So this is what folders you'd probably have if you had WordPress installed on a thing. Now it doesn't really matter um, what's there. What we're going to do is create our own folder. Now as you can see at the moment we're in um, it's zero we zero dot com so that's the domain name there okay now um, now if I was in another website that would be a different name there of course now I'm in the root directory of it now what I'm going to do is create a folder first for the PDF to go into so I'm going to go up the top here and press on new folder and I'm just going to make up a name and it doesn't matter what name it is so I'm just going to make it um, something like that and number. Now just say you're selling an ebook um, you might need a bit more protection on it um, like a password to get in and stuff like that but this is a free giveaway ebook so I'm just gonna make um, like I don't want to put a flag up saying hey I'm not gonna call this folder free ebook right I'm just gonna call it some unknown number because people will Google that and um, this way it makes it harder for them to find if you have weird file names. Okay, so this is the new folder. I'm going to press create and I'm just going to wait a second. It's going to load up and there's the folder. So now I'm going to double click on it and go in there. And now I want to upload my PDF here. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to press on upload this is how easy it is. Now I'm going to go and browse for the file. Okay, now I've just got to find a folder that I might have something in. I'll just have a look. No, I'll go to documents and see if I can find something there. Um, let's have a look in the products folder. Right, we'll just click on this. Here's a articles into videos. This is a PDF, so I'm going to choose it and press open. And there it is there, and it's starting to upload already. Okay. Um, and there we go. It says 100% complete. Okay, so now I'm going to go and I'm going to close it. It says back to where I came from. And here it is. Now as you can see I'm in that folder that I created. Now what I want to know now is what is the path to this so I can give people a link. So what I usually do is click on it and choose rename just so I can copy this URL here. I'll take all that, see how it's got the domain name and that. Now all I have to do is copy that, which I'm going to, so right click on it and press copy, right, and I don't want to rename it so I'm going to press cancel. Right, 
So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to open up a notepad, which I've got one handy down here, and I'm going to paste that URL in. Okay? Now all I have to do now is add http dot dot slash slash www dot and we have the link exactly to there. Okay? That's it. Now all you have to do is put that link on your website and it will um, download the PDF automatically onto someone's computer. Um, the other thing is um, if you want to make the link look pretty you have to put some code around it. So I'll quickly show you how to do that. Right, we're going to go h href equals and we're just putting some code around it. Um, now all you have to do is copy this. I'm not going to explain it. What I'm doing is there's the URL that we had and I'm putting the HTML around it. Now press here. Right? And then I'm going to close the link. Whoops, sorry, I've got the wrong thing there. I need the slash. Right, so what happens is instead of seeing that ugly link there, they will see the words press here and it will go to there. Okay? Um, just take a screenshot or pause the video if you want to have a look at how this link is done. Alright, thanks for watching.